on today's episode of Deep in the Kitchen, a beautifully scrumptious New Yorkian crumb cake. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to make this dish perfectly, okay? It's such a magical tasting dish. And we're going to start by doing the nice crumbly topping. Here's the ingredients. Leave it here for a second. Okay, let's get them all going here. Let's take a third of a cup of sugar, and we're going to put it into a glass bowl, okay? All right, now we're going to add some brown sugar. Give it some of that dark sweet flavors. Plump. Okay, now you know we can't forget the cinnamon. All right, we got three quarters of a teaspoon of the ground cinnamon. Okay, just plump it in there. All right, now we're going to even it out here. Just do a little eighth teaspoon of table salt. Can't have it be too sweet now. And then we're going to get eight tablespoons or one stick of unsalted butter. Okay, put it in the microwave so it's nice and melted. You can melt it in a pot, it just takes longer. And then just pour it in there like so. Okay, and then take your little whisker. And we're going to mix it around until it looks very much like baby poop. Look at that. It doesn't look very good, but it's going to taste amazing in the end, okay, I promise. All right, now we got one and three quarters cups of cake flour. Just go ahead and scoop that in there. Scoop it, scoop it. Let it fall. Okay, then you get it very gently, gently. Whoa, see, I even messed it up a little bit. Just get it going, and then it's going to look like a peanut buttery kind of thing. Okay, just keep stirring it till it gets nice and mixed. And then now we're going to go to our delicious buttery cake. This is going to be the magic part of the dish, man. You just got to keep this taste in perfecto mundo if you want everybody to love your cakes. All right, so this is in preparation. We're just going to take a little, uh, like a square baking pan, okay? Get some parchment paper. We're going to do a little cutout here so that it fits nicely inside of our square. Then you could just fold it over like that. All right, then we're going to take some olive oil so it doesn't get all stuck in there. Pump it up and then spread. And then we're going to lay it in there. This is where we're going to put our cake. Our delicious cake that I'm going to shove in my face later. All right, put that oven to 325. Let it get going. Put your thing on your mixer. Now we're going to add our cake flour. Just plump it. A little bit of baking soda. Gotta have the sugar. Couldn't get ahead of sweets. I'm a sweet tooth man. That's how I like it. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix this for about 30 seconds. Feeling hardcore right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm back to normal. Gonna grab some butter. Go ahead and put a little bit in the time in there, okay? If you do it all at once, it's gonna jam your machine. It's not gonna really mix the way you want it to, okay? There we go, and then just gonna let that go for one or two minutes. It should start to get kind of, uh, you know, kind of powdery kind of thing. Looks like breadcrumbs. That's how you know it's right. All right, now let's add some flavors here. Got some vanilla extract. And then we're gonna throw our eggs in there. Let them beat! Let them beat up! Beat it up! Beat it up! Add the milk, buttermilk. Let it blend. Ooh, I love watching this part. Look, it's so fun. Okay, and we take it out, and it should be nice and light and fluffy. Okay, I just want to jump in there. I want to jump right into this pan. Oh! And then spread it all around, okay? Get it on there all evenly. Joy, this is going to look just as good as mine, I promise you. It's going to look fantastic. Let's put it all together now. Now we're going to go back to our other mixture that we made, okay? And we're going to take it and we're going to break off little pieces. Two of about pea size, like that, okay? And if you can, try and have some patience here. You know, it's going to pay off if you just kind of just get impatient with it and start slamming it all over. It's going to bake unevenly and it's not going to look as pretty. And then when people see it, they're just going to be like, what the heck am I eating? So go ahead and take the time, make it look good. Bow! Look how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness. Well, we're just gonna shove it in the oven here. Okay. Then bow, 
make it a good 25 or 35 minutes, oh yeah. Alright, go ahead and take it out. Gotta cool down a little bit, otherwise you're gonna burn your mouth, burn your hands, you're gonna have to go to the emergency room, and you're not gonna be able to eat your cake until it's all super cold. Okay, set it aside. And then now you can just completely just baste your... Just baste it up hardcore with your sugar. And then there we go, ladies and gentlemen, look how beautiful it is. Everyone is gonna want one of these, okay? They just taste so amazing. I love the flavors. Okay, guys, if you liked watching me cook and you want to cook some more stuff with me, go ahead and subscribe and get notified because I'm putting out a lot of stuff, okay? All right, I'll see you guys next time on Deep in the Kitchen! Peace out! Love you, bye.